Hey y'all. Welcome to the sixth episode of Space Telescopes, a fully dedicated series for tweets and observations from space telescopes. NASA Universe. What do you call bears wandering around the pole? Polar bears? Well, these two bears, having cultural connections all around the world, are commonly known as Great Bears, or Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, by their constellation names. What do these bears do? In the past, they helped navigators find the north while traveling, and even these days, you can use Ursa Major or Big Dipper to point you towards the pole star, if you are using a telescope with equatorial mount. While, we all were fogged by the launch date announcement of Webb Telescope, this little guy named, Imaging X-Ray Polarimetry Explorer, is up for launch just five days before Webb. In the past two decades, scientists have found around 20 dwarf galaxies orbiting Milky Way. Having surveyed the whole sky for gamma ray sources, Fermi might have already collected data from these galaxies. Scientists hope to find clues of dark matter from these data, using new algorithms and data from other optical surveys. Hubble, ESA Lying at 20,000 light-years from Earth, NGC 6717, is a roughly globular cluster held together by gravity. The bright foreground stars with diffraction spikes are close to home. Being in the same region of sky as the center of Milky Way, it is hard for astronomers to determine the exact properties of these star clusters. Fountain of Youth, or, is it Fire of Youth? Researchers, using Hubble, have found how neutron stars slow their aging process. Around, 98% of stars in the universe will end up as neutron stars. To study and compare the evolution of neutron stars, researchers turned to two star clusters. Namely, M3, and M13. Let's go to M3. Now, M13. Do you want to know more about this new discovery? Watch the new episode of Space Sparks by Isa Hubble on YouTube. Link in description. Also, Isa Hubble conducted a short Q&A where, tweet tagged with, Hey Hubble, were answered by the researchers who studied the white dwarfs. As a warm-up, first three questions were presented by Isa Hubble team. First question was answered by Barbara Lanzoni, associate professor and co-author on this paper. Were you looking for such a result or did it take you by complete surprise? What we had in mind was to compare the stellar populations in these two twin clusters. The discovery of slowly cooling white dwarfs took us by surprise. Second question was answered by Jianqing Chen, PhD student and first author on this paper. What do you like the most about the whole process of getting Hubble data? Hubble is one of the most powerful telescopes I have ever seen, and these images are really excellent in depth and resolution. When I first saw them, I was really surprised that the very central regions of globular clusters could be so clearly resolved. Third question was answered by Francesco Ferraro, full professor and project coordinator. Do you think white dwarfs are keeping more secrets from us? What's the next step in the study? White dwarfs are among the most compact objects in the universe. One teaspoon of white dwarfs weigh as much as 10 elephants. Hence, their study surely has another surprise in store. For the moment, our attention is focused on other stellar clusters similar to M13, to search for more anomalies. The session ended with a lot of questions answered. To read them, search hashtag HeyHubble in Twitter. Also, read more about this research from the links in description. In this ESA Hubble flashback image, galaxy NGC 4490 is seen scattered and warped after a collision with another galaxy, NGC 4485, which is not in the image. Until now, Milky Way was thought to be thoroughly mixed gases swirling around the central black hole. 
Using new data from Hubble, astronomers have shown that the gases in our galaxy is not homogeneously mixed. Enjoy Hubble's 31st anniversary snapshot of AG Carina, a luminous blue variable star, surrounded by a gaseous shell. This image showcases the details of ionized hydrogen and ionized nitrogen emissions from the nebula, seen here in red. Made out of data collected by Hubble over the years, this image shows the dust surrounding the star, pushed away by its powerful stellar wind, blowing at 200 km per second or 124 miles per second. Hubble Space Telescope Located in the constellation Scutum, the Wild Duck Star Cluster, aka, Messier 11, is an open cluster of 2,000 stars loosely bound by gravity, leading to shorter lifespan. Hen 2 437, located in a faint northern constellation Vulpecula, the fox, was first identified in 1946 by Rudolf Minkowski. It was added to a catalog of planetary nebula after two decades, by astronomer and NASA astronaut, Carl Gordon Hanais. Hubble, NASA Located 30 million light-years away in the constellation Horologium, this Hubble image of NGC 1512, is a composite of seven images, taken by three different cameras on Hubble. Star Trek Day reminds us that Hubble gazes into Final Frontier every day. Hubble's Frontier Fields program probed the early universe by studying large galaxy clusters like Abel S1063, seen from 4 billion light years away. Boldly go and read more from link in description. NASA Exoplanets Remember the accident from our last episode? As we question our loneliness in the universe, astronomers think, this unique brown dwarf might not be the only one of its kind. It went undetected because, its characteristics doesn't match with the previously found 2,000 plus brown dwarfs. What was your inspiration, to learn astronomy and to think beyond Earth? NASA scientists share, how Star Trek inspired them to reach for the stars. Read their stories from the link in description. We search beyond our solar system, to find another blue-green planet, rich in ecosystem and has evolved intelligent life. But why do we search? Find detailed answers, from link below. In questioning our place in the universe, we found a lot of different planets outside of our solar system, and out of our imaginations. Go through the link below to find wonderful 3D illustration of these exoplanets, based on the data obtained. Chandra Observatory This odd-shaped galaxy is actually a spiral galaxy partially illuminated by the central black hole. The light from the black hole is obscured by gas and dust, thus forming the shape of an hourglass. Right now, Chandra is studying supernova remnant, E051969.0, the remains of a sun-like star located about 160,000 light-years from Earth. This expanding shell of debris is more than 30 light-years wide, and it contains multi-million degree gas that glows brightly in X-ray light. Have you ever wondered, why it is called as the Pillars of Creation? The bright spots appearing on this image are X-ray sources captured by Chandra. Located at about 6,000 light-years from Earth, in the southern portion of Eagle Nebula, this structure is giving rise to a whole bunch of new stars within it. XMM to Athena if you are looking for a postdoctoral position, to work with space mission, here is a wonderful opportunity. If not, share it with those, who might find it useful. XMM Newton 
The following are the current openings at ESA, with varying eligibility. Visit the link attached in description to find more about them. Athena X-ray Observatory How would you calibrate a X-ray sensor yet to be flown to space? Find out about how scientists simulate the calibration techniques and how they do it, in this article on calibration of Athena's X-ray spectrometer. Have you sent in your memes yet? If not, there is still time. September 20th is the last date for entering the meme contest and sending your science memes to Athena. Webb Telescope, ESA As we approach the last days of Webb on Earth, the chariot to heaven is coming together. Parts of Ariane 5 we saw in Episode 3, have arrived at the spaceport in French Guiana, and has been unloaded. Enjoy this animation by ESA. In this infographic by ESA, you can see the mission timeline of Webb Telescope. Even though it would reach the desired orbit in one month from launch, it would take six months for James Webb Space Telescope to become fully operational. Webb Telescope holds the key to many unanswered questions. From observing the early universe to studying our own solar system, Webb will make breakthrough discoveries in the field of astronomy. If you think Webb Telescope replaces Hubble, it is the exact opposite. Webb is complementary to Hubble and many other missions. Check this Hubble James Webb comparison by ESA. Space Telescope Science Institute Have you read the previous articles from Spectroscopy 101? If not, you can find all six articles of Spectroscopy 101 in the link below. Dense stars and swirling vortex of hot gases, surrounding our galaxy's supermassive black hole can be seen in this composite image from Hubble and Spitzer. With large light collectors and powerful sensors, James Webb Space Telescope can pierce through these gases, to reveal more. Have you watched the lecture by Dr. Nicola Rulanandhum? This lecture gives an expert's view on the differences between astronomy and astrology. The recorded session is available on YouTube. Finally, thanks to these magnificent engineering marvels we see beyond our reaches and behind in time. And thanks to you friends, for your patience. Check the video description for links.